It's Janie. Welcome to another video on my channel. This is part two for the second amazing gift that my friend from school has given me. So far I found amazing things. I found Moxie Girls, Liv, Barbie, um, Giselle from Enchanted, and even some Barbies that I'm not, or like dolls that I'm not familiar with. I have never seen them before, so this is very exciting. We are getting to the bottom of the box, and we don't have as many dolls left, but we definitely have quite a few clothes and so accessories. So this to Hannah go. Montana doll, she doesn't really have hair. She her hair's been cut, but that is okay. And I'm not gonna keep her probably because I don't collect Hannah Montana dolls. But like I said, I do really like the quality of the outfit, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this top in these pants. Ah, things are falling down. Okay, next is this one. And it is another one of these mysterious dolls. I don't know what kind they are. And she is wearing a Snow White dress, but I don't think it belongs to her. And she also is wearing a pair of boots. Now these look a little bit So edgy. this is the first so, one of the bunch that has shoes. And they are very cool. They're black, lace-up, chunky-type boots. And I'm excited to actually have another Snow White dress because I am running out of Disney doll clothes. And I don't know if her hair's been cut or not, but this one has black hair. And she has a, seems like a little bit of a side glance, which is very cool. And she's kind of pretty. She kind of actually reminds me of Snow White. And we have another live wig. This one is very long and very blonde. That is very exciting. I am loving that I'm getting so many live wigs. Okay, who's next? Ooh, we have one of the Barbie and the Rockers Kiras. It's really funny because I think I just bought this doll from a garage sale. I don't know if it's the same one or not, um, but she has orange wrapped around her arm for some reason. But, oh hello! Really? My cat is talking to me. They were very upset that we were gone for so long, and I feel really bad that we're gonna have to leave them again. We do have somebody taking care of them, so we're not just leaving them all alone. But, it makes me sad that we're gonna have to leave them. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, kitty. Hello, baby. Hello. Did you come up? Oh, sweet cat. Oh, not the leotard, not the leotard. Beepy chat. Beepy chat. Meow. Hello. Beep chat. Hello. Did you come when we were in? Did you come? Did you come up? There she is. Hello. There she is. There's the chat. <laughs> oh, yes. Good kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> oh, hello. It's in my face. We have a cameo guest starring appearance here. This is my cat. Blah. Yes. Oh, hello, baby. Okay. I guess she's going to be here for a while, so I guess we're going to continue. She is sitting on the, all the clothes, though, that I have on my lap, um, but that's okay. So, we have the Barbie and the Rockers, Dana, I think her name is, or it might be something else. But there she is. I do have her already, but I don't mind having two. I don't mind having two. And this, obviously, is one of the Disney Tiana dolls. Isn't that right? Is that a Tiana? Yes. So she, pardon the uh, wardrobe malfunction, but she does have her dress. That's cool. It is one of the Mattel ones. She is quite nice. like her a lot. Her hair is still in its original style. She seems to be in really nice condition. I don't have a lot of Mattel, to be honest, so this is really exciting. Yes, sweet cat. Hello, baby. Hello. Okay, so here's another one of these mysterious pet dolls. So now I have a whole set. This one has a crimped hair. And I don't know if it's been cut or not, it's up in a ponytail, and she has blonde hair and brown eyes. She does not have any clothes, but that's okay. They're very interesting. I'm wondering what kind of dolls they are. I do really like their faces. I think they're very cute. She does have a lot of dirt or like around her nose and mouth. I think that might be stained, but hopefully benzoyl peroxide will do the trick for her. Okay, we're this is the last one of the last dolls. Ah, kitty, you're making me knock things down. That's okay. All right. So, ah, ah, everything is falling. Okay. 
So, one of the last dolls in the box is another Moxie girl. Now, she's never even been undressed, and this is a very <laughs> blonde with very long hair Moxie. So, she has really long blonde hair, and she's got this really cute pink outfit with jeans. And her hair is really tangled, but it looks like I'll be able to fix it. She's in very nice condition. She's got one of the, like, basic Moxie girls type faces. And then the last two dolls in here is another one of those mermaid type dolls except this one is a ballerina so that is very interesting so she's got little ballet shoes on so that's very cool and then we have this very adorable Kelly doll from like the 90s she is very cute she's got dark hair and I love her a lot this one is one of my favorite Kelly's of the night and she is very cute and then we have all of the accessories and stuff that she threw in with the dolls, which is an exuberant amount. Now I'm getting the last few pieces out of the box. Ah! Everything is falling. Okay. So, really... Okay. Yep. Everything is on my lap, so that's why... I'm having this problem. Everything is sort of falling everywhere. But I'm going to go through all of this stuff. My lap is literally full. So there are a lot of brushes. There is this blue one. It's got like a little design on the handle. I don't think it's Barbie though. And then we have this really pretty comb that reminds me of like a little mermaid. This one is very pretty. It's got shells and like stars on it. And then we have, I am dropping things everywhere. That's okay. Then we have this one. And then we've got this brush, which is very shiny. It's silver and it has black bristles and then we have this pointy yellow brush don't know if it's Barbie or not and there's a lot of brushes in here so just bear with me there's this little red one that's got like a star on the back it's kind of a cool looking star and then this star shaped brush and then we have a couple of classic like Barbie brushes from the 90s. It's one of, you know, this type where it looks like this. Got a blue one and a pink one. And then we have this very funny brush that has like bristles on this side and then bristles in the comb. And then it's got like a fish shaped vibe to it. Now this one's kind of cool looking. Hello, cat. Have you returned? Hello. And then we have another star-shaped one. I think these might be like Hannah Montana brushes. Not entirely sure. And then we have another one of those little brushes with the star on the back. This one's a light pink. And then we've got two more brushes and then I'm going to move on because I don't see any more. We have this white brush that has flower on the back. And then we have this interesting brush. I think it's a troll's brush because it says trolls on it right there. And it's got like a flower and then like a troll's shaped hair tuft. And there is also this bike helmet. It is cool. It's yellow and it has a green stripe. And then we have this very cute pink guitar. I think it's Barbie. It's very nice. Um, it looks very realistic if I do say so myself. And then we have... Whatever this is, I don't quite know what it is. It kind of looks like a head. It looks like it's supposed to like connect into something. I don't quite know what it is. And then we have another guitar. This one isn't quite as detailed, but it is an electric guitar. And it obviously has like a, cup, a place where a strap is supposed to go. It's just pink. And then there is this very cute little dog. It looks like it's supposed to be a beagle. It has articulated arms and legs. That's kind of cool. You can move his head, and it's got very big, adorable dog-like eyes, and it's got really cute painted detail. I don't think it's a Barbie dog, though. And then we've got some clothes going on. We have this very cute skirt. I don't know if it's Barbie or not, but it's got like a really cool pattern on it and a black band on the top. And then we have a pink ballet tutu. It's just tulle and sparkly. And then I think this probably goes to the Halloween Barbie, the one that has the orange and purple dress. Um, because it is purple and it's obviously Halloween and it's got a purple star on it and it is actually very, very cute. And then there is this little, um, like, Kelly folder. I don't quite know 
there is it's a folder and then there is a little book that says the 12 dancing princesses on it from the barbie movie and it just opens and there's actually writing it. it says two dancing princess one is named sally and the other is named kelly so that's kind of cute that it has a little note from trinity from her doll days in there it's very neat oh we have another brush this one is a heart shaped and it's pink and it has like the logo for whatever type of doll this brush belongs to on the back and then we have a bandana which clasps in the front with a little um there we go with a little snap it's just a little bandana i think it's supposed to go around the shoulders of somebody I don't i think it's probably barbie and then there is this majestic cape. I think this probably goes to uh, the prince from Sleeping Beauty. It is red. Ooh, and we have a dress from one of the Zodiac Barbies. This is also Aries, I believe. It is the same one as the other one that I have right there. Very cool. So if I find another Aries Barbie, I can put this on her. I love the Zodiac dolls. I would love to find more. And then we have this really pretty blue and white dress. It has a gather in the front and then white at the top. And then we've got more brushes. Woohoo! We have another star brush, it's silver. And then a pink brush that's like that dark green one where it doesn't really have anything distinguishable about it. And then we have, I'm trying to like hook them together so you guys can like see the sort of shape it's supposed to have. So then the sleeve inside is inside out, so let me fix that very quickly. All right, we've got this very cute crop shirt. I don't know if it belongs to a Barbie or not, but it's floral and it has pink flowers on it. And it's got green and then it's got a pink in there. And then I think this probably belongs to a Halloween Barbie. It is, Obviously, it kind of reminds me of a pumpkin. It's a bubble skirt with little um, sparkly purple bits, and then it's got a orange shiny halter to, on the top. Very cool. It has, this is either a ring or a headband. I'm not entirely sure which, but it's green and it has a little bow on it. It's too small for Barbie, so I'm thinking it might be for somebody else. And then we have this little pillow. It's fuzzy and blue, and then it has pink on the back. It's very plush and soft. And then we have these shorts, which I think go to the top that I showed you a second ago. It's got the same floral print on it. And then we have this very bright blue shiny jacket. I think it might belong to Ken. Um, it's got a pink stripe and then pink on the hem. And it's very, very shiny and cool. Then we have another generic Barbie brush. It's just pink. And then we have another um, bike helmet, except this one has an orange racing stripe and it's a little bit of a darker shade of yellow. And then we have this adorable raccoon. This is so cute. It looks like it's from the same line as that dog. Um, it can move its arms and legs and tail. And it also has a very cute little face. That is very cool. I don't think I have any raccoons. And then we've got this very cute green and orange striped long sleeved top. This is very, very cute. And then what do we got here? Ooh, this is cute. I like this. Once I Velcro it up, then you guys can see it. It is this cute dress. It's got stripes across the front that are in red, orange, yellow, and green. And then it's got a very angsty looking teenager on the side and it goes into a skirt. I like this, it looks very 80s to me. Very cute dress. And then we have a, another bike helmet or some sort of helmet. It has a clasp that Velcros around the chin. It's pink. We are kind of getting to the bottom. We still have a, quite a bit more to go though. Here are some more brushes. Trinity definitely had a lot of brushes. There's an orange one with a little bow and another one of these pointy ones. And then we have this very pretty floral dress. It's got pink and purple and yellow and orange flowers on it with green leaves. This is a very cute dress. I like that a lot. 
And then we have, I think this might belong to a moxie girl. It's got a pink skirt with leggings attached to it and it's got like silver details on it. It just looks like something a moxie girl would wear. And then we have this, it's been cut on the bottom, but that is okay. It's got orange and yellow and white on it and it's like kind of swirly. Then we have a black and white checked scarf or belt or headband or something like that. And then what do we have here? Let's see, gotta put it right so you guys can see it. I think this might be for a moxie girl or something like that because it's not quite Barbie size and it looks like something that they would wear. Let's see, here we go. It is very cute. It's got a denim skirt and a belt and a striped undershirt, I guess, and then like a heart printed top. It is very cute. And then we have this one. Now this is very pretty. It's sparkly and it's got, it's turquoise and brown. This is very pretty. I don't know if it's Barbie or not, but it's very good material. It seems like it's really nicely made. It's very nice. And here's another one of those combs. It's white and it looks like it might belong to Ariel or something like that. And then we have a little white sock. And another one of those types of dresses, I think it might be for a moxie girl or something like that. I can kind of recall when wearing this. Um, this one has the same kind of stripes on it and it's got the same type of belt. And it's got mesh at the top and then also a denim skirt. Ooh, this is from Kissing Barbie. I actually just recently got one of these out of their store. Um, I really love this dress. It's very elegant and beautiful. It's really, really nice. This is from 1979, so that probably belonged to her grandmother. Oh, there's another doll in here that I missed. Oh my gosh, how cute! It is a little Kelly that's dressed in an Easter onesie, and it's carrying a little Easter egg basket, and it's got bunny ears. That is an adorable little Kelly. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. That is an adorable Kelly. So that was a nice little surprise. And then here's another dog. This is like a little, like, dachshund that's, like, standing up and begging. It's a very cute dog. It kind of reminds me of that dog from That's Curious very Boy. nice. I like this one. And then we have a pair of rainbow cheetah print leggings. These are super fun. I would love to put these on an 80s Barbie or something like that. There's also this little basket. It's made from like wire woven together and it's actually really nice. I don't think it's Barbie or anything, but it's actually really cute. And then we have this really adorable fuzzy purse. It's really well made. I think it might be for like a Mycene or a Bratz or something like that. They always have really nicely well made clothes. And then we have a live denim jacket. I have tons of these, but I can always use more because they work so well with so many different outfits. These are very cute. And then I feel like I dropped something. Oh yes, there's a pair of, thing. I think they used to be pants because they look like they've been cut, but that's okay. I can definitely still use them. They're green and they have a little button and they're very cute. I don't think they're Barbie, but they're very nice. And then we have a very fun striped top. I think it might belong to a Liv. It is striped and it has green sleeves and it's very fun. And then we have this white leather jacket. That is super cool. like that a lot. It's got pink stitching. It's a white leather jacket. And we have another ballet tutu. <clears throat> Sorry, got something in my throat. I have another ballet tutu. It's sparkly and made of tulle. Ooh, this is pretty. This is really nice. It's made of like a rose. It's got roses on it and it ties in the front. It looks like it might be very old if it's Barbie because it feels like it might be from like one of the older like 80s or higher. Very very pretty. We have an... what is this? Mm, it looks like it's a outfit for a Kelly or a Chelsea. It has a little hood and I guess like duck wings and then little duck like tights that are supposed to look like a duck or something. I'm not entirely sure. We're almost there, guys, I promise. Ooh, we have this really cute um, one-piece swimsuit. It is polka-dotted with black, and it ties in the front, or it ties around the neck. And then we have 
this looks like a quite old jacket. It's got fuzz on the hem and it's light blue with buttons. It's a very nice top. It looks like it might be old. Then we have a piece of felt that is supposed to be some sort of towel. We are almost there. And then we have another purse. This one is very nicely detailed. It's brown and purple with silver detailing. That is a very nice purse. And then we have this really cute little swan. I don't know what that goes to, but it's very cute. I really like it. It's got yellow tipped wings. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not, but that's very cool. We are almost there, guys. Then we have this really fun pink jack-o'-lantern. It's sparkly, and it's got black handles, and it's very cute. And then I like this top a lot. This is a very nice red sparkly tank top. I love this. My favorite color is red, so that's very cool. And then we have another skirt. This one also has the same kind of like belt and design as the one I showed you earlier. It's very pretty. Very neat. I think it probably belongs to a moxie girl. And then we have this gorgeous skirt. I think it's Barbie. It's got really pretty design on the bottom. It kind of reminds me of like Indian saris, like the pattern on it and like the bright color. That is a very, very cute skirt. I'm definitely going to put that on one of my Barbies. And then we have, I think this probably belongs to like a Kelly or something. It is a very, very small little dress. It's super, super cute. It's got like polka dots and then stripes and it's a halter. And then the last thing before we open this bag, it's just a bag of some doll stuff inside. I don't quite know what it goes to, but there is this very cool camera. It's got a big lens on the front. It's a very cute kind of camera. And then we have this bag, and that is the last of everything. There is this. Now, I think this probably belongs to one of those, um, I don't know what kind of dolls they are, but it looks like it would fit them perfectly. Um, I don't quite, quite know which one, but it looks like it probably belongs to one of them. It's a purple dress. And then we've got two more things in this bag. We have another one of those type little tiny dolls, and it's also a ballerina. So I've got three mermaids and two ballerinas of these. This one is blonde, and it has a really cute tiny crown. And then the last thing is this adorable little pig. It's very, very cute. It's a teensy little pig. It is super cute. It's made of plastic. And that is everything. So I got a ton of stuff. Thank you so, so much, Trinity, if you're watching this. I love everything, and I have, if any, hardly any duplicates at all. I do have, like, one or two, I know that, but I hardly have any. And I am definitely going to be able to find some use for everybody, and I am so grateful that you would be nice enough to give me all of this stuff. And as for everyone else watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment below and give the video a like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And if you know or recognize any of these dolls, please let me know in the comments below. It's actually very, very helpful. So, yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!